ladies are in in the world of fantasy the majority of them are delusional they just want to stay in the presence I'm, but i'm saying the truth <laughs> with you i'm saying i'm saying the truth they, they, they just don't want to upset they, don't, they just don't want to upset accept reality <laughs> you're making me scared right now <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a musical fan, minominak, drummer and a keyboardist. I have been for many many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here to a new video guys. Today I'm here my beautiful guest, my charming princess. She's looking extraordinary today. Oh my god. Hello you guys. Hello you guys. I'm Victoria, Victoria precisely. So I'm going to be with you guys today. So stay tuned. Today we're going to be reacting to men owns feminists using her logic. This is going to be incredible. This is going to be amazing. Uh, we've never seen this before. The one that gives a try with you guys. Let's see how this turns out. You know how we do it. We talk less right on yes more. Let's get into this video. I am a she, her. Calm down. Calm no, down. don't tell me to calm down. Calm you down. disrespect calm me. Down. Calm down. You get... No, you, you disrespect me. Okay. All right? Okay. I'm tired. I told you, you so the way you What's happening over here? Not cool in my classroom. I don't calm care. Down. The way you disrespect me is not cool. No. I told you so many times. No. I am not at ease. Your name is Joshua. I don't care. Your name I don't is care. You are a home man and you walk up on me at the end of the day. See, and you, you still being disrespectful. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm you not. are. No, I'm not. I but told you. But somebody still respect you, my friend. You are Joshua and that's what I'm saying. Is that right? Yes, you are. I yes, thought I told you so many yes, times. Yes, I, you need to back away. You need no. to back, back you away. You need to back respect away. my you still, pronoun. You, you still a man at the end of the day. This is getting man. violent. You, still man. you, will make you need to ask. Chill out, chill out. Hey, chill out. A fully grown man squaring up to a woman half his size talking about disrespect. What an absolute fragile little coward. Yeah, that's facts. Think how big this guy is as well. He's that big and he's that emotionally weak. It's only a matter of time before he actually does something dangerous to someone. Mentally unstable, yeah. dangerous that's to true. society. Kick him out of the school. So you said white people are racist due to socialization in the same way that men are socialized to be sexist uh -huh. and heterosexual people are socialized to be homophobic. So yes. I'm a white, straight male guy. It's not about you, so man. basically I'm like I'm like enemy number one. So I'm a racist, sexist, homophobe by your logic. Sexist, yes. But I'm not sexist. And I'm not racist and I'm not homophobe. Who are you to say that every straight white guy in the world that. is a... Well, you did. You are calling straight white guys like me a series of offensive stereotypical labels, which I find... I find. I love Morgan. Offensive. Like, I love this guy a lot. There's a problem because you're taking it personally. There is a problem. I am taking it personally. Yes. Because when you say all white people are racist, as a white person, I find that offensive. Yeah, this person's actually a man who transitioned, I think, to a woman or something and then carried on blaming men for all their problems. Uh, it's just, you just want to be a victim so bad, don't you? Check this next clip out. Reach a sexism is, and sexism doesn't come from women. So of course it's caused by men. This is a social concept. You don't think women can be sexist? I don't think that women can enforce um, misogyny. What's a like, load of nonsense? No, because it's all... You don't think any women can be women sexist? Don't Absolutely the nonsense. That is not the, the case. The patriarchy. What's that? You don't know what the patriarchy is. I do, is. but explain it. The patriarchy and is Honestly, women can be sexist, still. Mm. So... The five it's, most it's not women I'm, that enforce the, the five most women don't have anything to. Burn. The five most powerful people in this country currently are women. Yeah. How does that how does that sit with your patriarchy? Think about it. Think about it. Ninety nine point nine percent of bricklayers are men. Should we have quotas for women? Is bricklaying representative democracy? That has nothing to do with the question. The question is if there's evidence of structural inequality and oppression, because women aren't precisely represented at 50% in all professions at all levels, then why don't we have a conversation about having women represented in all professions at all levels? Well, we why do we talk about the C-suite, for example? 
Why do we talk about politics and positions of power? Why don't we talk about it across the board? Okay, well, but that's because it's power. It, it's so funny to me watching someone debate a feminist because they just hate it when the facts disprove their narratives. They hate it. Imagine that though. Imagine like everything you believe in, <laughs> the facts are just against you. Like it must be pretty stressful. That's why they're always so angry all the time. You had a life sentence, right? That's you were true. about to be sentenced. I feel to this prison. is a feminist Do you want to conversation. Judge on her what kind of dumb question is that? That is a stupid question. Why? Because I just, I don't, I feel well, like- give me a stupid answer, go ahead. No, I just, I don't think that, um, like being on your period would affect your job in that way. Does being on your period affect you at all? Does it affect me? It affects me physically. Emotionally, I can, emotionally, I can step back, take a look and be like, it was never that deep. And a stupid answer was given. Personally, I think because you're a man, you shouldn't have any words. Okay, you're saying because I'm a man, I'm not affected by abortion, I shouldn't have an opinion on it? Pretty much. Okay, are you affected in any way by the Holocaust? Not personally, I'm not Jewish. Do you think the Holocaust is bad? I do. So you have an opinion on something that doesn't directly affect you, right? Man can't have opinions on abortion. Does a man have to pay child support? Absolutely. You see that? You see the double standards right here? We came all the way to Morocco mm -hmm. to find out how many genders are there. I don't understand you. Oh, too. Oh, biologically. Genders, it's like about female and males? Yeah, they're, like how many are there? I think it's 50 50 in Morocco. Uh, 19 million. 19 million, and for females, 19 million. It's funny, like they don't even understand the question here because it sounds so ridiculous to them. Here, they're just not as programmed, you know, they stick to, to real life. And that's how it is. The more you leave those first world societies, it's just more normal. None of this extra bullshit. Who has it easier in society, men or women? Definitely men because they get paid more and they also don't have to deal with sexual harassment in the streets. And if they want to be shirtless, they also don't have to worry about somebody looking at them like they're just throwing themselves out there. Okay, so since you believe that, would you be willing to switch gender roles with a man? No, because I like being a woman. <laughs> Well, then, well, then wouldn't that prove that women have it easier in society? Otherwise, women would want to switch gender roles? No, that is not true. No. Women don't have it easier. We, could judge we don't have it easier. Women. Society we do better. not we, we treat us so good. You say society don't treat you so good. Why is that women yeah, play the victim? You guys play the victim role every time. It's not like us playing the victim role, but we don't... The society... It's not always on our side. It doesn't come to our benefits. It's always on the man's side. It's more like a man cheating and a man cheating, cheating, cheating. They'll all tell you it's in a man's nature to do this, do that, all those dirty, but let a woman step out for just a minute and do that stuff. The society is not fair to women. It's not. It's crazy. The society is fair to everyone. <laughs> it's not it's not at all because i don't know it's not for real because i can tell you it's not like she said if you want to strip yourself naked or probably um wear some kind of shorts and be all that it's no one will come and harass you you get but if it was to be a woman trust me oh gosh Life because yeah. we actually bring forth life. Men can't do that, but um, but once again, then why wouldn't women overwhelmingly want to switch gender roles if it men would only have it be for money? It would only be for money for a woman to try to be a man. But I mean, so she thinks the only reason she'd become a man is to earn more money. But I don't think she realizes if she became a man, how much more work she'd probably have to do. <laughs> That's the problem. But she could just do the work as a That's woman. That's not bad, and still actually. Earn for as much money if she really wanted to. But the point is, she doesn't. And when she doesn't achieve what she wants to achieve, it's not because she didn't work hard. In her mind, it's probably because, oh yeah, the patriarchy. Load of bullshit. I stated biological facts and you have a problem with me stating biological facts. And the facts that I stated is for a man to have sex with a trans woman, he would be having sex with a biological male, which is that is what I said. That is all I've ever said. I haven't sat on this podcast shaming people, being hateful towards people. I've stated very basic facts. And you sit on the other side and you're like, you can't do that as the supposed godly Christian man. You need to be tolerant towards people. 
It is our job as Christians to align ourselves with the word of God. It is also our job to, as Jesus said, make disciples of the nations and to share the word of God. And you make all these statements about Chase, you can't be judgmental towards people. Jesus told us, we are, to we, are, we are in this life to judge with righteous judgment. It's not a Christian's job to just walk around the world and be tolerant. It's a Christian's job to combat evil and to combat falsehoods. What do you rate your looks True. on a scale of one to 10? I'm gonna ask everybody. Like a seven, like a 6.3. Why would you not rate you guys a 10? Like we should be rating ourselves a 10. I'm Stop a the cap. Can I just say something before you go ahead? Yeah. Do you know why you do that? Why? why you? everybody rates themselves as six or eight or whatever because they are afraid of being arrogant and it's not arrogant to be confident to like yourself and to like your appearance but okay there's a difference between confidence and thinking that you're on par with the most beautiful women in the world difference between men and women when they have friends is men will tell their friends straight they'll be like look stop being a bitch yeah you need to do this and this and this to fix your life women <laughs> they're just gonna lie they're gonna be like oh wow you're perfect you don't need to change anything yeah keep doing what you're doing it's like no that's not realistic as a friend you got to tell them if they're doing something wrong and fix it not live in a delusion surrounded by a bunch of yes men check this out it sums Thank it up you. perfectly be delusional if you don't believe that you are, think that you are. Once you repeat so many times a thing in your head, it's gonna literally come into your life. There is no other way. You can rest now. You made a great job today. Be proud of yourself. You're the bullshit. You could have done better today. Someone forgot that he was his family's last hope. He needs to get back on track before it's too late. Do you want to remain a loser? A lazy shit who can't even stand to run a few miles? Do you want to tell your son? Dad didn't make it because he quit and was too lazy. Ah! See, that is different between guys and girls, you see. Ladies are in, in a world of fantasy. The majority of them are delusional. They just want to stay in the presence. I'm, but I'm saying the truth. <laughs> what I'm saying? I'm saying the truth. They, they, they just don't want to upset. They, don't, they just don't want to upset. Accept reality. <laughs> You're making me scared right now. <laughs> they just don't want to accept reality. Um, because I don't know if reality scares them. That's why I feel like they keep doing that victim role of we don't pay equally. Um, guys find it easy in the world but the same gender still don't want to switch gender with the male being a man is it's not easy but you guys don't see it that way you feel that that is our job but you still feel like we get things easy i don't know what you guys want almost i don't know whether you guys want our blood <laughs> because this is getting so much serious then we always spit but anyhow, what this video is actually interesting and I actually learned a lot from it. <laughs> I don't know what you have to say about this. Really, what do you want me to say right now? What do you really want me to say? <laughs> you want my blood? <laughs> Tell me. Well, about women being delusional, mm, I wouldn't say that is um, totally wrong. I wouldn't say that's totally wrong because I know a lot of women love feeling comfortable. They just want to be comfortable doing their thing and relax. You know, they are just the real softies. That does not mean there are no hardworking, like freaking hardworking women out there that can spend 24 hours and the next 24 hours and the next 24 hours working their ass out. There are a whole lot of women working their ass out, so let's leave that aside. Let's just say it's a 50-50, you know. No, I won't say it's a 50-50, because more women are more lazy. They love depending. I'm just going to say reality, though. More women are more lazy. They just want to depend on the man to do all the freaking shit for them, and that's crazy. But I'm going to give it to 70-30. Because a lot of women are working their ass out and still being comfortable though, but still working their ass out. And you guys said a whole lot of crazy stuff here. 
oh my god <laughs> i don't even know where to start from but it's it's really crazy it's really crazy it's a lovely reaction i love this i love this but man i'm not on your side totally i am not for real <laughs> spill it out <laughs> i'm happy you're getting yourself checked <laughs> yeah in reality <laughs> well i like how you spoke the fact you spoke the truth and i appreciate that <laughs> We are one in a million <laughs> because a lot of women will not accept that fact. Um, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all